Hey, howdy. The prime mistake of Canada, you know, he's a bad guy. He does all kinds of bad things for the citizenry. He really does. Here's the newest and the latest and the greatest. The prime mistake, he's now revoking the charitable status of all crisis pregnancy centers in Canada. He sent a letter. It's actually back in December, but it's just kind of going through all the channels. Now it was a mandate to the Minister of Finance. What he said was, you must introduce amendments to the Income Tax Act to make anti-abortion organizations that provide dishonest counseling to pregnant women about their rights and options ineligible for charitable status, right? It was only a summer or two ago that he said, if you don't agree with my position on abortion, if you're in favor of, of not having abortion, like if you're pro-life, well, then you don't get any funding from the government. You can't hire, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's a whole long list of stuff. It's all about him all of the time. Back to this, he says, there is little or no uh, he doesn't say, I say. There's little or no dishonest counseling. What's dishonest? Dishonest means if you don't match up his truth, then it's dishonest because to him, everything is the truth that comes out of his head and out of his mouth, and he is not right. But there's a lot more to this than just taking that status away, right? If you take the charity status away from an organization like this, they can't get money anymore. They can't give receipts anymore. But because they're no longer a charity, they have to return all of their assets, the real estate, the cars, the trucks, everything, the desks, the chairs, the money that's in the bank, it all has to be returned. So not only are they crippled, this wasn't a crippling shot, boom, boom, boom. This was a kill shot, right? They're out of business and that's wrong. Who is he to say what's dishonest and what's honest? There's a lot of people that don't agree with abortion. They should have counseling if they choose. It's all about choices. That's the problem with socialism and fascism is, is that your choices are removed. How do we get that through people's heads? I mean, these people, these left-wing wackles, they're after your choices. You know, I've always said, I don't, so, so often have I always said, I don't agree with, to a socialist. I don't agree with what you say, but I will always defend your right to say it. Whereas what they say is, I don't agree with what you say, you can't say it. That's wrong because your choices are gone. Not a nice thing. Here is a quiz. Okay, <laughs> this is going to take some time. So sit down, have a drink, relax. It's a quiz. Y'all got to take the quiz. Got to see how smart you are. It's about your favorite movies. We all have a favorite movie, right? So I'm going to pick. I'm a genius. Ah, the wizard of somebody. I'm going to pick and find out what your movie is. Watch me in action. You will be amazed. I'm amazing. Pick a number, any number from one to nine. Pick a number, one, two, nine, any number, right? Multiply that number, you have that number, multiply it by three, and then add three, okay? You multiply it by three, now you're adding three. You're keeping up, multiply it by three again. You got it? Your total now will be a two-digit number. Add the first and second digits. Like if it's 11, you add those two together, right? Add the first and second digits together to find your favorite movie of all time. If you got that number, now I'm going to go through a movie list. And the number of the movie that I pick will be your movie. i got to think about this. Here we go. Movie list. Number one, Gone with the Wind. Number two, E.T., Blazing Saddles, Star Wars, Forrest Gump, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, Jaws, Grease. Number nine. I think this is it. Number nine, the Justin Trudeau farewell speech. Have you got it? For you are number nine. Hey, if you are number nine, then I'm a ten. Just saying. Some liberals. This would be Trudeau as well. The prime mistake of Canada, they actually wanted the term mother, mother, to be replaced with a birthing person. You're no longer my mom, you're a birthing person. I'm just frightened as heck to hear what the word should be for father. I mean, uh, there is another word, a replacement word for stupid. It's very stupid or liberal. I repeat myself, hey, and then you got a guy who ain't a liberal. He's a conservative. He's the governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis. He recently drew the line and he said about sex and schools and stuff. And he said, you people, you want to teach sex to people in grade one, two, and three. Are you insane? Yeah, I'm not going to allow you to do that because common sense to me is, is that that ain't it. There's no common sense to this. He said, give me some reasons to talk about anything sexual with somebody else's child who is in a grade like that. I mean, here we go. I mean, it's going to happen again. Good for him. Because it's true. All these liberals, they, they think that they have the right to educate our children. Sadly, it's happening in a lot of places. It is sad. Lastly of the day, capitalism. It's a good thing. It truly is. There's no perfect system. Maybe there is. Maybe it's capitalism. Hey, a free market. We don't really have true capitalism. I mean, the government's interfered with us. They should stand back and be the referee. But I want to share a little bit about capitalism with you quickly. It came into being not that long ago, actually, in about 1820, is recognized to have kind of begun. And then the, the extreme poverty level 
1820, up to 1820, was about 90%. Today, it is less than 10%. And people, smart people, smarter than me, they say that's because of capitalism. People have a free market. They're able to succeed, right? Even with government interference, the poverty rate has dropped way down. Governments take the credit for that, and they're wrong. So people so often say, you know, capitalism, oh, I'm sorry, I'm a capitalist. Don't apologize. It's a sign of weakness. Capitalism is good. We all need to spread the word to everybody. I mean, uh, capitalism is the best system. Hey, it could be the only system because it works. One last thing. I know I said last, but there's one more. I was in Alberta just last week and it was cold. It was so cold, the weather. It was cold. Cold is a liberal's heart. Hey, y'all come back. See ya.